So Dawn Spencer Hurwitz is an indie perfumer based out of Boulder, Colorado. I had fallen in love with her fragrance, Vanille Botanique, which I ended up buying, and I still love wearing. It's one of my favorite vanilla mm -hmm. fragrances. But there's another one that she has that's also gourmand called Cafe Noir in this bottle. Ashley's back since she knows this line, and she and I are going to go ahead and review this fragrance. You'll also have a chance at winning one 10 mil of Cafe Noir, and this giveaway is open worldwide. Woo. So please stay tuned. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian with Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. If this is your first time here on this channel and or you have not subscribed yet, please click the subscribe button below and also click the bell icon so you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. And thanks Ashley for coming back to Thank do this video. Having. You know Dawn Spencer her with DSH fragrances. Yeah, I love them. What do you really know great. what do you know about her and uh, her fragrances in general? So, I know they're usually perfumed with a really high percentage of naturals. Um, most of the time they're mixed media, but um, Cafe Noir, for example, is 96% botanical ingredients, which means I'm assuming the other 4% are synthetics, but that is still an impressively high amount of naturals for a fragrance. Um, and her fragrances tend to have really great longevity, which is also um, kind of rare for perfumes with um, a high amount of naturals. So it's a really great line. You can tell she invests a lot in her juice, in yeah. the fragrance itself, which is really great. If you don't know Vanille Botanique and you like vanilla, you definitely should check it out. Mm -hmm. But if you also like coffee, this is one to really check out. So yeah. let's go ahead and smell it. But before, uh, while Ashley is spraying, I'm going to go ahead and read the notes. It's definitely created by Dawn Spencer Horowitz and the name of her brand, DSH, is the initials of her name. So for notes here, we've got at the top, cinnamon, bergamot, black pepper, and chili pepper. In the heart notes, you've got jasmine, labdanum, benzoin, and rose. And finally, in the base notes, you've got tolu balsam, uh, vanilla, and coffee. Gorgeous. I mean, really a beautiful fragrance. Hmm. It is definitely peppery at the top. Yeah. I pick up a lot of the pepper mm -hmm. with a little cinnamon. And... Uh, I think the chili... I get the chili, too, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I get the chili. Yeah. It adds a little bite. I think it's spicier than most coffee fragrances, as you can, like, from the note list, too. Um, there is vanilla, but it's not as vanilla heavy as, say, Follow by Kerosene mm. or stuff like that. To me, this is more black coffee. Mm -hmm. It's black coffee without any cream. Right. And it's sprinkled with um, cinnamon mm -hmm. and some chili powder. Yeah. Kind of like you, you, you sprinkle chili powder on chocolate, mm -hmm. yeah. Mexican chocolate. So this is the, the reverse with the, with the coffee, coffee instead of the chocolate. Mm -hmm. So it's a unique take on um, that um, coffee scent. Right. But definitely the signature of Vanille Botanique is in there. I, totally. I pick it up. Yeah. Like a similar accord of spices. And there's vanilla in here. Yeah, it's the vanilla, I think. It's probably the same vanilla, mm -hmm. but really, really gorgeous. If you're at all into the gourmands, the unique takes on gourmand fragrances, vanilla, chocolate, coffee, all that good stuff, this is one to check out. And actually her whole line. Yeah, is really gorgeous. I would say compared to other coffee fragrances, there is a sweetness there, I think provided by the vanilla and maybe even the cinnamon, but it's not as sweet as other coffee fragrances, which I really like. Yeah. There's a vintage feel to it, I think, it is and you'll see that with a lot of Dawn's fragrances, yeah, I think. Definitely vintagey. Um, but I really like that. It's vintagey, but it doesn't smell old-fashioned. Like it doesn't smell like your grandma's perfume, quote unquote. And I love a good grandma perfume. I love grandma perfumes too. Yes, um, but I don't think it's vintage without veering quite into that territory. Vintage light. Mm -hmm, exactly. <laughs> a good intro if you're trying to get into vintage, vintage. perfumes, yeah. I'd say. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. So. What do you, what makes an all natural perfumer? So they just use all natural ingredients. Yeah. So usually they're working with um, essential oils. The definition is really interesting because some perfumers will use natural perfume isolates. So they'll get like ionones from the violet leaf or something, but they won't be using the actual violet leaf essential oil. Mm. Um, some people only use essential oils, but for the most part, natural isolates can count. But yes, a natural perfume using a hundred percent naturals. Um, 
With mixed media, you can get anywhere to like 50% naturals, 50% synthetics, to 10% naturals, to 90% synthetics, to all synthetics. Um, and it's actually quite rare that you see something that's 96% natural. Interesting. So that's really cool. If you want a perfume with a high percentage of naturals, I would say most of the perfumes in Don Spencer Horowitz lines have a high percentage of naturals. What do you think about if I walked into Macy's and went to like Calvin Klein or right. any of those designers? Mm -hmm. What do you think their percentages to naturals versus synthetics? I can only guess. I'm not an expert, but I would say 10 to 20 percent tops. Interesting. So mm -hmm. most of it is synthetic. Synthetic, yes. Wow. Well. This smells totally natural to me. Yeah. And for a natural perfume, and I've heard that natural perfumes do not last long, this right. one has, I can That's call really this good. almost beast mode because yes. it's pretty potent. And also this is a very base note heavy fragrance and base notes tend to last a lot longer on the okay. skin too. And it's vanilla. Mm -hmm. What is tolu balsam by the way? So it's a tree resin. Um, basically it's, um, and I could be wrong, but I think it's, Actually, I don't know enough about this. I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to say something and have it be completely wrong. But to my understanding, is kind of like the saps that drip from a tree. Interesting. Yeah. I like saps that drip from trees. Me too. <laughs> I like those smells. So, and I think a lot of balsams smell very vanilla-y um, and kind of like woody, vanilla, like other facets to that. So, if you like vanillas, you're probably gonna like a lot of balsams. And I think a lot of times with naturals, unfortunately, you don't get the complexity because you don't get the same scent library that you see with synthetics. Mm -hmm. And I don't know how Dawn Spencer Hurwitz says it, but I think her perfumes are very complex, even with the percentage of naturals that she uses. But she's been perfuming for a very long time and has a lot of expertise and experience, and I think it really shows interesting in her that, work. Interesting that she's from Boulder, because I, I, mm -hmm. I wouldn't think of a perfumer being in Boulder, yeah. Colorado. Yeah but that's kind of unique. Mm -hmm. It is, it's cool. Yeah. So this acts like an extrait de parfum to oh, yeah. me, but it says it's an EDP. So I wonder if hmm. on, on Fragrantica it says it's EDP. So do you know if it's extrait or? I think with a lot of that branding, like Eau de Toilette, Eau de Parfum, extrait, a lot of times it's not as accurate as you would think. I mean, I've had Eau de Toilettes that last all day on me and EDPs that last an hour. I mean, this EDP, whatever it is, whether it's actually like 20% and should be considered an X-ray, it has good longevity. I think nowadays, unfortunately, we almost can't tell the longevity by the concentration. Yeah, it doesn't, it's not like, it doesn't necessarily mean x yeah. it's going to be like, like all day lasting because it could just fade away. Mm -hmm. Interesting. That. I think, and for some of the designers, it's just marketing. If they're trying to market a light, fun, fresh fragrance, they'll slap it with EDT. If they're trying to make it like a nighttime fragrance, they'll have EDP or X-ray. So, yeah, I think it's hard now with that stuff. It's all become marketing. Yeah. <laughs> but coming back to Café Noir, mm -hmm. um, it's beautiful. It is. It's actually both of these, Vanille Botanique mm -hmm. and Café Noir, are perfect fall and winter scents. Yes. And they're very cozy, comfy. Um, you put it on and you just like relax. I would hesitate to say they might even layer well. You think the two? Maybe. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because the vanilla is kind of similar. Mm -hmm. so. Especially if you do the spray on different parts, like maybe some vanille on the chest and some Cafe Noir on the arms. Oh. Yeah. We're talking about 3D fragrances. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> that's a good idea. Yeah, I, I think, think they that's would a good idea. Really nice. Yeah. Um, as far as prices go, though, let's. It comes in many sizes. Um, it comes in a three mil sample for six dollars. Uh, 60 mil is $245, um, 9 mil in antique presentation um, is 175 So there's all these different sizes. The 10 mil that <clears throat> you're going to win is worth $63. And um, they've also got a 5 mil antique presentation for 130 So it does come in many different sizes and features I guess yeah and the antique presentation like Ashley was talking about the vintagey feel mm -hmm. then you'll really it'll really look like a complete vintage totally. perfume mm -hmm. so so if you want that whole uh, experience of vintage go with the antique yeah presentation so and dab it on just yeah. like grandma used to do <laughs> <laughs> this is a 30 mil and I thought it retailed for like 130 exactly and that was not yeah it's not I was listed. gonna say 132 because that's how much Vanille Botanique is so I don't know why it's not listed on here, yeah. but yeah. yeah, we have it for 135. So the 30 mil is 135. Uh -huh. And that's this size right here. Yeah. And it comes in a box like this. Yes. 
It's a cute presentation. It is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you'd like to participate in the giveaway, please put down a comment with what your favorite coffee fragrance is. Also, please list your country. This is a worldwide giveaway and you'll get a chance to win a 10 mil of Cafe Noir. Good luck with that. Anyway, guys, do you know this brand, Don Spencer Hurwitz DSH Fragrances? Are you familiar with Vanille Botanique, Cafe Noir, or any other fragrances? Please put a comment down below so we can get a conversation started. Also, please like this video, please share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye. Bye, guys.